I'm not sleepy yet, but I'm hungry. Hello everyone! So when you are hungry at midnight in Japan, you should go to Japanese convenience store. So today, I'm gonna tell you what you must buy at Japanese convenience store at midnight. Okay, the first snack that I want to share is this rice cake with matcha paste. This is 7-Eleven's original sweet. The convenience store sweets usually change depending on the season, so there are always different new delicious and high quality sweets. This mochi is really soft and fragile, and the matcha paste cream is put inside the mochi. There is also white powder on it. Mmm! Ooh! Actually, this is really good! The matcha cream is so rich and has strong matcha flavor. If you like matcha, which is green tea, I highly recommend this. But it's really soft and a little sticky outside. So when you open it, you should eat like one or two bites. <laughs> Let's move to the next one. This is my favorite snack called pizza potato. You should remember this package. It's really good. <laughs> the cheddar cheese and some seasonings of pizza flavor like red pepper and basil are put on the chips. Mm, my image eating like this pizza. This is my favorite snack of all chips in Japan. Here is the next snack. Japanese know this ice cream named Papiko. This is a standard ice cream menu at the Japanese convenience store. And this flavor is chocolate and coffee. So there are two pieces, so if you have boyfriend or if you have friend, you can share with them. And please don't throw away this upper part. It has a little ice cream left. I'm eating ice cream at midnight. It's not sweet, it's a little bit bitter. It's like a sharpened texture and the flavor is chocolate and the coffee at the same time. Speaking of midnight snack, you can't miss Japanese rice balls, onigiri. There are so many variety of rice balls at the convenience store. I think this is really genius. So there is number, like one, two, three. And there is also English here. If you don't know Japanese, you can understand how to open it. So because of this wrapping, seaweed is really fresh and really crispy. I love Japanese onigiri so much. So the tuna fillings is inside between rice and put on the fresh seaweed. It's really simple rice bowl but tastes really good. Alright, in my another video which is about Japanese convenience store, I introduced about Nishin cup noodle, but this time I want to show you the Ippudo cup noodle. It's really easy to cook. There are some soup bases and roasted pork fillet inside of the cup. Pour hot water into the cup and wait for 3 minutes. And put in the sauce. That's it. Budo is really popular Japanese ramen restaurant in Japan. Oh my god, it's really good. It tastes like uh, black pepper and a little bit salty taste. And the soup is tonkotsu flavor. So I can taste a little bit pork soup. Mm. Something smells good. Oh, are you hungry? Yeah. Oh, yakisoba. For the midnight snack, yakisoba is also popular in Japan. Yakisoba is a Japanese stir fried noodle with cabbage or onion. Yakisoba cup noodle is also simple to cook. Pour hot water and wait in 3 minutes. Let the water out. Mix yakisoba sauce and it will be done. So yakisoba is basically dried noodles with some uh, yakisoba sauce, which is kind of sweet and salty. Let's try this. Mmm. Very good. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Yakisoba can be cooked in many ways, so if you want more veggies, you can add. It is also good with egg as well. Let's move back to ready-made snacks again. This is cheese and cod which goes with beer. Now I had some yakisoba. Time for another snack. This one is 
cheese and cod sticks. It's actually really good. Um, it's not, it's not like fresh cod or anything. It's, it's actually kind of like cod jerky, some dried cod in on the side, and then cheese in the middle, making this cheese a very good flavor. Very good. It's kind of as soft as brie, brie cheese, and a little bit of cod flavor. Do you know what would go with this? Premium malt beer. It's time to get the beer. In Japanese convenience store, you can buy alcohol anytime, even if it's midnight, if you are over 20 years old. Premium Malt's beer is actual real beer, unlike some of the Sapporo Nasahi, which contains stuff like corn and other stuff. This is pure malt, which makes it really good. I guess that's why they call it premium. Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, it's kind of like a Pilsner, but a high quality Pilsner. I would definitely recommend this beer. For the person who can't drink much alcohol, there are lighter options. This one has alcohol, but it is just 3%. Ah, it tastes like yogurt. It's just like juice, but it has a little bit alcohol. So if you don't like beer or strong alcohol, you can choose this one. It's just like juice. Okay, the so next one. I love these snacks. It is dried squid. I really want you to try this when you come to Japan. This is really good with alcohol as well. It's sliced dried squid. If you like chewing, this is a snack for you. The more you chew, the more the flavor comes out. Oh! Mmm, <laughs> it's really good. It's really good snacks at midnight. The last midnight snack is smoked tongue. You may have never tried it, but it is one of my top recommendations. This is also good with your beer or alcohol. Tongue. Oh, it's pork tongue. Mmm. Oh, it's very chewy. Oh, and I can taste smoke as well. Oh, it's really good. It tastes like ham, but chewier than ham. And it's already cooked, so you don't need to warm up or heat it. And you can just eat as it is. Alright, this is the end of my video. Did you find anything you wanna try? So if you come to Japan, you should go to a convenience store at midnight. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. Bye!